So, so the way laser scanners work is you have, uh, you have the la laser scanner device on top of a tripod and it spins around and shoots uh, hundreds of thousands of points per second and measures all of those points and then you're able to stitch all those together uh, or actually the equipment is able to stitch it all together into one, uh, one image which you can then use to take measurements, you can grab volumes or, uh, or pull, di pull different measurements off of that uh, model that it creates. Uh, Alec Goodall, project engineer. So the laser, laser scanner is going to be really helpful on this project because as you can see we've got a lot of hydronic flooring, um, that uh, hydronic radiant flooring that's going to heat this floor. So once we pour concrete over this we'll, we won't be able to know exactly where um, all this tubing is because it'll be covered in the concrete. So after the fact we'll be able to map this out and accurately see where the tubing is so if we need to do any improvements after the job um, for example, anchor bolts um, or any type of anchoring systems or drilling into the concrete. We'll know where this tubing is so we don't hit it and damage it and potentially have a, uh, a huge problem later. Matt Gentry, operations manager out of our Evansville, Indiana office. When our competitors are routing that pipe without having those scans and without walking all those lines down, they're probably going to be a lot more conservative at bid time because it was, you know, it's twin 18 inch carbon steel pipes going through the middle of the powerhouse. So they're going to have a lot more guesses during the estimate phase than we will. You know, we've got a definitive route that we've used to, with our engineers, route it through.